Good evening, everybody. This is Neutron Bomb at Neutron Bomb Collectibles and such. And I am a reseller. Uh, this will be my first YouTube video. And uh, I was inspired and got to give a shout out to a couple of mentors here. Uh, Dominic Caron, the primetime treasure hunter. And also the rock star flipper himself, Casey Paris. Uh, saw their interview, their partnered interview on New Year's Day. Been thinking about trying to make a video for a while, and I got to thinking about what topic could I uh, share with the reselling community, uh, with everybody out there that may be beneficial. And it's a topic that I've uh, really self-educated on. I don't claim to be any kind of uh, expert. But I do uh, know and I uh, have some education that I would like to share with you all that uh, self-taught and uh, just coming from some primary resources. And I believe over the next few videos, I'll be able to share and impart some knowledge on, uh, to you all. And uh, it will help you look for this one particular item. And it is so vast and so so deep <laughs> i didn't realize that myself until i started uh, researching and looking into uh, something that i've always wanted to be interested in and uh, that thing or things will be the mi homo uh, figurines uh, ceramic figurines and uh, over the next few videos, what I hope to do is share with you the uh, information that is coming from this source. And this source is the uh, M.I. Hummel uh, Golding Anniversary Album. Uh, the primary author is Robert L. Miller. And uh, a lot of illustrations, a lot of pictures, a lot of actual figurines I'll be sharing with you uh, that I have collected myself. Uh, we'll be going over exactly how to look at and how to identify date and uh, just really understand and learn more about these little figures uh, some of them are up to 12, 13 inches in height and all the way down to four, three inches. Uh, but it just depends on what your interests are in. If you will, uh, this is my first video. It's an introductory video for this series. And uh, I just, if you could give me a thumbs up or like and uh, be looking for the next few videos that will come. Uh, we'll look at the history. Uh, we will look at uh, how to uh, understand the background uh, with the Goebel family and uh, Sister Maria Innocentia Hummel and their agreement and how it impacts everything today. Um, till today actually every figurine that has ever been made has uh sister uh, maria's signature on it and some people don't realize that fact but uh there are a lot of uh, small details that i would like to try to share and get into and uh, i know it'll help because we go and we walk by things in thrift stores or at estate sales or wherever we may be, and we don't appreciate really the potential value of that thing that we look at that we're looking at, and that is the case I think uh, from what my experience has been in the last few months with the humble figurines. But uh, we'll be talking more about that. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest, and please, if you will, give me a thumbs up or a like, and look forward to uh, talking with you guys here later. Uh, thank you very much. Bye. 
What we are going to be looking at here is my Hummel collection. I began collecting in May of 2019. I've accumulated uh, around 62, 67, somewhere around there. Uh, trademark 1 through Trademark 7, primarily Trademark 2. Of course, we'll learn that those uh, trademarks determine the value of the Hummel and uh, more to come on that. But uh, this is my collection. This is where they live.